Absolutely. I, absolutely. And I'm, I, I mean, the things that kept us alive were kind of, um, in many ways, you know, kind of a gang around us that were just, you know, mad about Charlie Parker and uh, Honor Coleman and uh, John Coltrane. And it kind of uh, o overlapped with, um, you know, this, uh, well, uh, heavy drunken responses we had against uh, the whole of the Newcastle art scene. It was kind of that. And at the same time, the beginning of, um, of, of surrealism taking over and some of the best points of on Andre Breton. And the more and more we were just kind of, um, art had to be, well, you know, the, the kind of, um, as it stood, all had to be negated, P painting, sculpture, um, well, the whole lot, architecture, everything, and 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 then so slow attack uh, began. And then, of course, the heavy replies against it, and um, and then finally, you just have to leave, you know, get out. After, particularly after, you know, you got into so much trouble, and um, special branch kind of called in. Um, No, no, America. It was through America. It was through New York. <clears throat> it was going to uh, 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 stay with uh, Ben Marrera and Black Mask <laughs> in, in New York. That's how it happened. But that was because uh, Ron Hunt, who was a kind of theoretical kind of uh, protagonist of um, the development, um, started attacking um, painting and then kind of, you know, pre, uh, you know going through Andre Breton and, and the Russian yeah, I mean, I mean, it, it, and Pizarev uh, and the it, theoretical yeah. nihilists of, of, uh, in Russia in the late 19th century. It, yeah, I mean, the, the thing is that, I mean, essentially, he, he, he starts the uh, interest in uh, Russian constructivism yeah. in this country. Yeah. He really does go into it. Uh, and I mean, and, and all of it may be kind of, uh, you can access it now, but at that point you couldn't. It, it took a hell of a lot uh, to yeah. access it. Uh, and then suddenly he came rushing up to me one day and he says, hey, there's this guy who um, um, uh, 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 did an intervention in New York in the um, Museum of Modern Art or, or, or somewhere, and he, he's, he's shouting at the um, um, art galleries, um, uh, close, the music, close the art galleries down, burn baby burn and things like that. He said he sounds terrific. I said, shit, I'm going to write to him. And I wrote to him, and then within a week, a letter came back. Brothers, come to New York, you know, <laughs> and, and and so I said straight away. <laughs> and, and then, I, I, I didn't. I stayed in. I stayed in, stayed in Newcastle. Newcastle. Yeah, she <laughs> she <laughs> uh, Yeah, and so I went to New York, and and then it was just uh, just with Ben and his mates uh, like that, and. Um, and there was Murray Bookshin, the the the, the anarchist, and and the, you know. And I really got, just completely got on with them. And I did with Murray Bookchin, and I hated academics. I didn't even realise he was an academic. He never ever told me, because he was, um, he was a lot older. And he just got on with him like a house on fire. And um, and it was New York, and then, they said, and then they said, you know these guys in England? No. And uh, gave out addresses. And, um, Did you phone them up or something? And they came back and, um, yeah, I, I don't know, phoned them up immediately when I got back into London. Oh, right. Yeah, before I came back up to Newcastle. Really? Yeah, and then it was come around oh, right. immediately and then just took off. Mm -hmm. You know, everything just, just, just took off. Mm -hmm. And then continual letters at the same time, um, back and forth um, with Ben. <coughs> Um, um, you know, there's all the ins, ins and outs of kind of um, um, uh, Van Agam going to New York and um, uh, he, he thought it was militantism in overplus and things like that. Um, he thought it was what? Uh, militantism in, in o overplus. And uh, yeah. that, that um, there wasn't enough kind of broad uh, theory. That, I mean, I mean, some of the manifestos that uh, 
I've joined in writing about, uh, I mean, uh, France, uh, uh, well, no, well, no, about, about art. I mean, don't forget, we said, we, we said if you were alive on Great Britain, we'd kill you, and, and or we'd pick you up and kill you all over again. And, and, and that, that, I mean, just <laughs> insane. <laughs> of course, they were completely insane. And then, I mean, you got Ben saying, well, if Herbert Marcuse was anybody, he'd be out on the streets fighting with us. You know, forgetting the obvious thing, we were young people. I mean, Herbert Marcuse then was 70. I mean, how could yeah. he start building New York cops, you know? But, you know, it was all part and parcel um, of it. But, you know, it was just that, it was just this total friendliness yeah, on all level <laughs> and, and, and then the work you know um, can't have a drink tonight we're window cleaning tomorrow and all things like this and you know this kind of casual um, you know work scene and, and then these bloody big dogs Ben Harden that you were great cuddly things but my god you wouldn't like to kind of cross them yeah but, but you yeah. had things uh, you know wasn't it when the Arjun that was there he met Alan Hoffman didn't yeah, he yeah and and uh, and uh, <coughs> Part of his book had been mm. translated to English, a totality for kids, and Alan mm. Hoffman had, was done by Chris Gray, wasn't it? Yeah. <coughs> and that uh, he picked up the book uh, and he'd asked uh, Ralph Van Arjen, uh, this is for kids on other planets, and I mean immediately, yeah, Van Arjen being down on that. Yeah, but, uh, but you see, <coughs> the interesting thing is with Alan Hoffman, for instance, Ben didn't get on with Alan Hoffman. And, and, and then when I was um, uh, with the book, because Alan Hoffman was coming around all, all the time, and then and and, and then Ben was uh, saying, oh, God, he's got such weak attitudes." And then suddenly Alan Hoffman totally transformed. But it was this kind of mystical edge um, uh, uh, with it all, all the time, which I, I couldn't get along with at all, and Ben couldn't get along with, and and so on, and and uh, and and. and I, I just couldn't get on with Alan, and then later I met him again in, in San Francisco, uh, t two and a half years later or something. And um, and Alan, uh, he, he got kind of a good critique of the motherfuckers then, but he was kind of um, still very mystically oriented about nature communes, which I did find the mysticism in, in, in Alan Hoffman very difficult to get along with, which was one of the reasons Van Aken attacked him. I couldn't relate to, to Alan on, on, on that level at all, but he, he was a good guy. I mean, very much like, you know, you, that, that mystical thing that you can have in America that can be very good as well. And I mean, shortly after that, I mean, about, uh, I, I saw Alan, and, and then he hitched a lift across uh, Oakland Bay, and he, f he, f he fell out off the back of a pickup truck and, and was killed. Yeah, I, um, yeah. I was upset. Mm. But, he, uh, but he, 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 he was aware very early on of the eco crisis. Uh, very, the, very much. To, uh, 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 far more so than the situation is. Oh, oh, yeah, and that was it, you see, because there was that bit in the motherfuckers. There, and there was the influence of Murray Bookshin. Yeah. And you've got to remember that when the ball became, um, I mean, the early bits of the situations were very, very Hegelian. In, in, in that sense, that, that we can dominate nature. There was no kind of thing like you got with, say, English Romanticism, which was about interplay with uh, nature, or kind of like Keats's negative capability, that we identify with that tree, we get into the life of that tree. There was, not, there was nothing like that. Um, it, it, uh, and then, I mean, it, the sick planet of the boss, its first eco thing was well after the, the situation has gone, 1975, I believe, or something like that. And it never really got involved in, in, in an eco critique. It was an add on uh, for, uh, uh, for, for him. And, and, and I mean, certainly for ourselves, <coughs> the eco critique, in a way, had been s absolutely central. In our lives, even before it to yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah, but I mean, it was kind of very early on. Wasn't yeah, it? it's a I mean, childhood, a childhood yeah. memories. I, I mean, a lot of, of it came from miners too. The miners, uh, you know, yeah. your, your, your yeah. the, um, uncles and so on, taking around the countryside, mm. and then they were very kind of uh, learned about nature, and they were t telling you the names of plants and birds yeah. and so on. Yeah, I mean, mm. and, and, uh, and but it was all connected that with a, um, a kind of um, um, a kind of 
independent Labour Party kind yes, of perspective. Yeah, yeah. That sometimes could get really out of hand. No. I mean, at the age of seven, for instance, sitting among um, the, the railway workers at um, uh, Christmas, and I got these little cards uh, playing with them. And the conversation, and, and, and you were in this kind of conversation, and they started talking about the Spanish Revolution with my dad and mum, and about the Poom, you know, which was the kind of one of the radical organizations uh, in, in, the, in the Spanish Revolution, you know, which all oh, was in its relationship to the anarchists. And I was just hearing this because I was all fascinated by what they were saying. Often they were just talking about engines and bad tracks of, li of line, railway lines and things like that, and what engine is useless and what isn't. And then suddenly they would be talking about the Poom. And I, I was kind of listening intently, but at the same time I was thinking the poom. It was a new form of engine that went poom, 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 like that. <laughs> but it, it had got through to you, <laughs> this perspective. And also because they treated you like a young adult always. They never talked down to you. They never talked to you as a child. And I found all this very impressive, you know. So it was all like that. because of involvement with um, um, uh, uh, doing that motherfucker uh, thing and about black mask in New York, which was kind of, um, you know, it was just, it was just, uh, you know, one of, um, uh, um, uh, uh, and uh, you had to go along with it. You had to denounce Ben Murray and the, and the motherfuckers and, 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 and so on. And, uh, What's wrong with Jim? Adventurism, super militantism, super militantism um, let's get the guns and um, and start a shootout. But I mean, the thing is, it, it, it quickly became, <coughs> you know, things like uh, that, you know, it, it just drifted that the bar didn't, um, for instance, it, it didn't have a clue about the, the, the realities of, um, of Britain. Um, in, any, in any real, he was clueless about it, and of course, and you went along with that, and I think, of course, there's a lot of truth in that, and uh, and I think, um, uh, you know, it was it was obviously too over the top with uh, against the motherfuckers and um, and uh, and Ben Maria, and 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 the fact and the and the fact of the matter is that. Uh, you know they did a lot. They did a lot of very good things, and and, and if you get to kind of you, you be cr be critical, and um, on um, uh, black mask and the motherfuckers, you first of all have to say what excellent things they did, do. Yeah. and and uh, and they missed out on that, and they did some superb things, unquestionably. Mm -hmm. You know you can say all that about which is I've. Um, more or less come into it about the, the certain levels of mysticism and <laughs> the guns, you know, which uh, and things like that. Um, yeah. yeah, and and you and you were kind of um, yeah, the little jeans, you know, type of thing. But um, they're all the good. Uh, they're all the good things, and and they're what, and and then they're losing the, this sense of um, to be together with differences and. In relation to the particular uh, countries uh, 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 that you're in, um, and, and so on, and um, 
Good. I, I, and I mean, then, I, I, I mean, that's, that's say that. They're, they're well aware of it. Don will say, well, you know, gay, I mean, he's brilliant. He, he's easy and so on all that. But he hasn't got a clue about the realities here. Yeah, uh, well, you I know, mean... Yeah, the, empirical. Yeah, I mean, but the thing is, you, you'd have, since the French Revolution, this unfolding radicalism in, uh, in France. Uh, you know, mm. but... In Britain, you know, after the death of kind of Byron and Shelley, on the cultural level, things came to a full stop pretty exactly. much. Yeah. And then suddenly there's this eruption where you, you make contact again with this uh, 200 years later, something like that, you know, with something extremely radical and try to take it forward. And you're having to combat an extremely conservative cultural establishment. Yeah. Now, the French never had to do that. No, the you know, you can see right. there's a transition mm -hmm. from Dadaism into surreal, well, symbolism into Dadaism and surrealism and then to letterism and then to situationism. You had none of that continuity in no, this country. No, we didn't. I mean, I mean, we were, we were in that sense absolute beginners. Yeah. <coughs> you had to, you know, this great gap. There was nobody in the older generation we could look up to. No. No. That we knew about. Yeah. I mean, later, you, you kind of, uh, uh, after the event, you realise there were people like Jack Common in Newcastle, yeah, of all places. Yeah, yeah. But he'd been dead and buried in Newcastle. He wasn't even recognised. Mm, mm -hmm. And then suddenly, you know, after the late 60s, suddenly he's number one Geordie. He's up there with Jackie Milburn. Oh, no, uh, it they came down on the side. Uh, it came down uh, on a. Uh, you know, like a ton of bricks and, and total incomprehension of what you're going on about everywhere because the, the kind of the, the, you know, the all the things that you could have had that connected. I mean, you could say that, you know, with the ball, there was Andre Breton in the yeah, background yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and so on. And, you know, the radicalism of Breton, there was nothing mm, for us. Mm. Nothing, and, and so, the, 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 you know, the uh, Yeah, but I mean, you had somebody like Raymond Williams, you know, and so mm. on, we read kind of Raymond Williams, yeah. you know, his culture and society. Um, uh, but, I mean, uh, you know, you could get somebody like Breton saying about in the early 1920s, even before, I admit that uh, literature is one of the saddest paths leading, en uh, leading anywhere. Well, I, I mean, somebody like Raymond Williams would never be able to understand, you know, what he meant by that. No, you know? I mean, he, uh, I agree. There was none of this, the kind of the rise and fall of form no, here, no. Uh, or, or any of the see. Hegel, you know, the, the refusal of Hegel here, just incredible. Yeah, yeah. You know, you um, and, and the rise and fall of form, but and, and then you'd look at kind of, um, you know, people like Raymond Williams that that you couldn't, you know, there'd be certain things that would come home. Why did Wordsworth like the, the Lake District? Because, in a way, money still didn't exist in the yeah, day. It yeah, was barter. Yeah. Now, they were very good points to, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, 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 to pick on. Mm -hmm. But he couldn't assess the fact that, you know, that, in, in well, as you point out, the preface to, to the lyrical ballads, he hardly talks about poetry. It's about kind yeah, it's of... passionate speech, yeah. It's passionate speech. Yeah. I mean, all the connecting links that weren't there. Mm -hmm. we're, we're, yeah, we're having to kind of we're having to make them. We're having to refine them. Yeah, I mean, you know, sort of like you know, as you mentioned, kind of Hegel. I mean, uh, uh, that that really was translated in the interests of kind of British imperialism or the world spirit. You know, exemplified in British imperialism. Yeah, you know, there was not that kind of revolutionary dimension that went into Marxism. You know, <laughs> and the fact that Hegel was the first to announce the death of uh, art. Uh, you know, in the uh, 1820s. I mean, you know, this was uh, uh, accepted in, uh, in Italy even by somebody like the uh, philosopher Vico. But, I mean, here, it was just... It just didn't mean anything. Yeah, I, I remember... Uh, yeah, uh, you, you, you nicked from the library at um, oh, uh, Newcastle, you uh, uh, Hegel's <laughs> History of the Fine Arts. And it hadn't, it hadn't been taken out for... 30, 40 years. <clears throat> you know, one of the great seminal works about the disintegration of art. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and he, he said, well, no, I wasn't even going to go. I, I thought I'll just nick it because no one reads it. Bow, 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 bow.
I'll take my monkeys, you'll take your donkeys, we'll have a race right now. I'll bet my monkeys I'll get your donkeys, the better we'll win right now. Ow! It was me, I took, I, I took a whole lot of speed and um, yeah. <clears throat> and then went um, into one of the big pubs on Prosper over at Hennekin's. And I went into the toilet and uh, put uh, the gorilla costume on. On it. I mean, it was obviously, I was thinking of uh, uh, the, that, that Morgan, a suitable case of <laughs> treatment. Yeah. And I thought, I'm just going to enact, enact this in real life instead of the cinematic presentation. And I just rushed out of the toilet, boom, 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 on my chair, ah! and there was all women screaming and glasses dropped, and, the, and then somebody fainted and went running out the door. And then just started charging down portability, a bit like in more than a suitable case of treatment. And then, of course, um, and, and, and to the square where the, the coppers came and, and grabbed you and so on. But there was the horse um, uh, with us as well, which was um, the Irish and Abo, my mate from Newcastle. And, <clears throat> and so on. We got, and then the police kind of came and grabbed all of those, and then you started fighting with the police, and then the coppers came and then they started using truncheons on you and um, uh, bring the curve. There's a film of it somewhere. Well, I mean, it, it, it just came up, and then I kind of enjoyed doing the Christmas card leaflet and and doing the kind of, you know, terrible kind of writing on it and um, style and like the decorations and, and then I keep getting that and then, you know, and then I'm told like a lot of the anti-Christmas uh, things last year in um, Italy and, and Spain, you know, were very much influenced by it, whether they the, the all dressed as Santa Clauses and, and things like that, and, and, and did these, well, on a much bigger scale at the, in Italy and, and Spain. Maybe it was Italy the year before, but um, definitely Savando said something about that it, it happened in Spain la, uh, last Christmas, and so on, these imitations, which you're pleased about, you know, because, I mean, it's still hell on earth is Christmas, I mean, it's... Uh, uh, insane and, and of course you really enjoyed you just totally enjoyed doing it and it was so easy to do you know because people just responded immediately I mean even among the people that you know even, even kind of cornball hippies on the street that you couldn't stand and said we're going to do something at Selfridges against Christmas you know just giving things away oh great when when is it you know it wasn't things like any discussion it was just Oh, we'll come along, we'll come along, yeah, all like that. And that's how it happened. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think that Michel Moore's, I mean, the intervention in the town, the letters in um, Notre, Notre Dame, Dame. Yeah. oh, just, it's magnificent. Yeah. I mean, that's, I, yes, in a way, it was much more kind of direct and aggressive uh, here. There's no question about that. It was much more heavily. It was, yeah, it was, it was much more hooligan. And, and I think the whole thing about, you know, that you got the kind of, um, uh, well, there was a breakdown of the class structure in, in, in this kind of situationist thing here. You know, you got the kind of the public school elite of... Uh, of, um, of, of the top of the situation, the best, no question about it. And then meeting people like us, and then we brought, you know, some of the heavy guys down from Newcastle to Irish, you know, who, um, you know, were, were, you know, were, were kind of real tough guys, and, and then really got got hold of it and kind of trans. It, it became kind of very violent. Yeah, very straight. Uh, yeah. And very straight. Mm. Um, and reflection of the social apartheid here, you know, and it was that bridging in that moment of social democracy when, you know, the class system kind of see, seemed to be collapsing here. So you could, 
people who, you know, 30 years ago, you could have never, ever got on with these kind of public school products. You did get on with them uh, for a brief moment, really well. Um, and things like that. But, and, I mean, you can say that some of the things called situationist in France, I mean, that about the statue of, of Charles Fourier that um, uh, they put up in a, a square, and it was a bit kind of um, measured and intellectual in comparison to what Jack, uh, he is a banker. Uh, They did. Uh, I mean, unquestionably, they did. But there again, they were the uh, the most committed, if you like. You know, the the less kind of um, you know uh, kind of uh, schizo. And, and we did get on with a lot of the ordinary kind of uh, uh, you know rank and file uh, Maoists. I mean, just on personal friendship uh, uh, terms. But I mean, it, and you just ignore all their kind of nonsense about splitists and and all their things about various Maoist parties. The, the fact is, uh, you know, they come out with a split and pass it round, and then um, have you got any speed and and, and 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 all this type of thing, and 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 and, and you relate to them on that level, and the fact that they, they despise professional roles. Now that became very important, and and, and so on, and does something, and and then a lot of their past histories were really interesting in. Um, the in the shipyards, the Glasgow shipyards, uh, shipyards. Uh, the Glasgow shipyards um, and memories of uh, Red Cloud side that, uh, that that had been um, uh, 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 lost, and that the said, uh, and you know, you'd mentioned Red Cloud side, and uh, you know, fuck oh, man, I'm sh I'm I'm sick of the mention of it. Mm -hmm. You know, that's all you're fucking here in the shipyard. Well, you know, you could sound like Belfast. Yeah, it's all like that. Yeah, 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 but I mean, the, yeah, I mean, the kind of the Maoists. I mean, going about Harry McShane. Yeah, it was Harry know, McShane. You know, yeah. they, they, they got uh, they got pissed off with demagoguery. I mean, he was virtually just allowed not to work within the uh, yeah Clyde Sound shipyards. Yeah, but know. they've been influenced by McShane. There was mm. one of the ultra left. You know who um, the red cloud side, uh, the red cloud side is that mm -hmm. Lenin came down off, and the, and they'd say, oh God, he just sat around, kind of spouting, kind of um, um, revolution while he was supposed to be working, and and management just totally tolerated it because to. he was that great Harry McShane, yeah, um, Glasgow's finest, mm. and and this, and they'd obviously learn from McShane. Mm -hmm. And and then they tell you, and, and you know, you'd be kind of getting drunk with them, spliffing up, and doing things, and they talk about it, and you really go on with that, that type of, and they kind of therefore, I mean, those kind of, um, but of course you have to keep away from them, because come the real nitty gritty, you know, the kind of, the full of Maoist crap. Oh, yeah, yeah. If they were the Stalin. Oh God, dreadful. it was dreadful. Yeah. <laughs> Because uh, kind of it did all come to an end with um, um, uh, McLaren. You see, I, I mean, I got on with kind of uh, Fred the Morrow. Um, uh, well, no, first of all, really close with McLaren and um, and, and then Fred the Morrow. And, and you see, and, and it, it, they really liked all those things that drawings that Irish did, you know, uh, that were just filth and muck in relation to the um, attacking the authorities in the LS uh, London School of Economics and 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 then it was all of Irish his Newcastle you know his, his great kind of lavatory wall drawing type uh, things you know and 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 they had a, just this huge influence on on Malcolm McLaren and, and of course um, they helped Irish you know um, stick them up all over and um, and things like that and they had this big influence and then it was that kind of distancing that um, started to happen. I mean, I mean, in a way, it wasn't the it, the the the, the uh, he didn't think a lot. 
um, in, 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 in big subjects. I mean, Fred Von Moral did. Yeah, yeah it's uh, intense. Uh, uh, Fred Von Moral incredibly intense. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, and, and, but he, he had this wide French thing to him. Um, I found Fred Von Moral um, uh, but intense, and of course he, he fought admirably on the barricades in 68 with uh, Fred Von Moral. And his, his description in one of his books on... Um, 68 is is uh, on the barricades is 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 excellent and and and, and it was like that and, but uh, but fred it, it got totally adamant he said look we've got to we've got to burn down the ICA yeah, gallows. Yeah, it was obsessed with it, 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 yeah, yeah we've got to do it right <laughs> we're going to do it out we're going to burn down the ICA. and i was and i'd say hey fred look there's only a few people who would burn down the ICA, and I think we're well known now by, you know, the police and that, that. We've got to think about this. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, send me it though. I mean, uh, we were coming uh, uh, along Mayfair uh, a couple of weeks ago, and there's an underground car park there, and I reminded him, he was going to burn, burn it down. You know, he'd actually gone and got <laughs> filled cans of petrol, you know. A couple of boys. Yeah, no, I mean, no, we're the taking them all down there. And I mean, and, 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 and I was I, smelling of, 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 of petrol fumes uh, every, everywhere. I've been taking all, the, all, all, all this thing. Uh, and then, um, well, I, I, I mean, I think I just got a bit more savvy. Uh, and, no, and, 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 and then he got all of me. He said, you, you stupid fucker, there's people in cars, you daft fucker, come out. You know, and I did. And I got on the bus and I was just reading of paraffin and petrol. And, and everybody... Um, I mean, you did, you did just to say being coming out now. No, I mean, you? Yeah, as, 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 <laughs> I, 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 as you said, it's that just we said, we said, we said, we said uh, uh, hello, to, uh, you'd, inci- uh, you'd incinerated about ten people. <laughs> but you didn't think, and it was... Well, just, I did. You did, yeah. <laughs> uh, but, but, but it was that kind of Fred Vermeer kind of thing at the time. And then the, the difference began. And, 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 and what it had to do with, you know, Fred was gaining t- towards uh, journalism. I mean, and, and, um, and, and, and Malcolm McLaren, you know, towards uh, ownerships of shops and things like that. And I was thinking, I can't, what am I going to do? What am I going to, what job am I? I mean, how am I going to survive? I can't go back into this kind of, you know, art scene in there. I, I, can't, I can't lecture. I always found it difficult stringing sentences together anyway in any key room. I said, I can't adopt this kind of uh, lifestyle. And, <laughs> it's true. But, uh, and, 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 and you just slip <coughs> bit by bit slipped into the buildings. And, and you get on one building site and then bit by bit. Yeah, well, it was uh, fantastic uh, crack, though. And then, fa- uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, and, you know, and then you thought, well, you get into your own gangs. You mm. make your own gangs because then you could make your own gangs in the building, and they'd hire you as a gang. Yeah, I mean, and, and, if, and I thought, aunt, it was influenced by Ben Murray, it's a street gang with her analysis. Yeah, but, I mean, and I thought you have a building gang with an analysis. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. yeah. Right, well, yeah. Oh, I'm, sure. I'm, I'm, no, but I mean, Sammy, you you know, kind of talking about Laurie Lee. Mm. I mean, I can remember in the seventies uh, 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 discussing as I went out on Midsummer Morning. About Laurie Lee's, you know, account of the uh, of the Spanish Civil War. Well, you know, uh, the Spanish it, Revolution. Uh, oh, yeah, uh, all right. The Sp- the Spanish yeah, Re- uh, it murdered all the bosses. Uh, yeah, no, but I mean, I remember that uh, uh, Nick Holliman, the plumber, talking about it. You mm. know, and it was only last night that I realised it was uh, 1969. He wrote it. Oh. I thought it was immediately after no. the split. You know, like a whole world's homage to Catalonia. Yeah. yeah. Expressed in terms of art, nearly yeah. ends up as the new academy. Yeah, but I mean, the uh, uh, Sanguinetti's. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah I'm, but I mean, uh, the, the thing is that punk is the first time that there's an updating of the English cultural establishment, isn't it? Uh, 
you mean? Well, I mean, the thing is that, you know, I mean, it was, um, it was sort of have to kind of uh, uh, recuperate radical ideas. And then it goes into the young British artist with Earth, doesn't it? And then well, the, ultimate, the ultimate result is somebody like Banksy. Uh, 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 well, Banks, Banksy is. I mean, I don't, I mean, I, I think, the, I mean, Banksy was, is, a, is on a par with, with Punk and McLaren. Yeah. As a form of recovery, I, I mean the young British artist, so mm-hmm. bloody Blair is Stuart. Oh, I know them. Uh, uh, well. uh, yeah. uh, and by yeah. then, the kind of um, extension of the art gallery into everything, if you like. I, I mean, in the bed that you're lying, and, and, and Tracy Eames. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the but, great Tory Tracy Eames. Yeah, yeah, you know. yeah, yeah, but the first update starts with. Um, uh, basically, uh, with punk, doesn't it? That mm. kind of takes on the uh, yeah, no, uh, no it's influenced true. by the avant garde. Yes, you it, know, it, it consciously influenced, uh, or in a huge, in a huge way. Yes, yeah. yes, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's right. But by and then, it changes the whole nature. Yeah, of the but British by then, scene, I, di- I didn't, I didn't, uh, I, um, it had all finished with McLaren, and uh, uh, um, and the only time um, I saw him. Um, uh, McLaren, and he was he was walking into Joe Strummer's uh, place, and and um, uh, he saw he, he saw me and started spitting feathers at me and things like that, and I couldn't think of anything smart to say. And it's just when he'd done that Buffalo Girls, and I, I saw Steve immediately <laughs> afterwards, and he said, "What you should have said." I'll walk round the outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which was one of the lines in Buffalo. And I couldn't think of it. But you see, but Strummer was totally respectful. He was yeah, so he embarrassed. Was, he, was. He, he, was, he, was, he looked down at the pavement. He looked down embarrassed down the, walk he, he, he looked at, up at you like that and then looked so ashamed down the pavement. Mm. But McLaren was really angry. I, but I couldn't think of some smart uh, thing to say. It, it, it took a... A smart-ass oh, Jewish guy like uh, Steve who, who, who could get just exactly the right mm. comment. Mm. Yeah. Um, that pamphlet had come out, of, uh, oh, so and, and he'd read it, and, and, and so Joe Strummer. And yeah. things like that, but Joe Strummer in a way, but but I, I, um, uh, there's always something about Joe Strummer. He was never easy with himself in any kind of way. He, uh, you could, I mean, I mean, in a way, you know, you could feel that he was he he, he was kind of um, uh, you know full of guilt. Well, yeah, yeah I mean, but he got that really smart house, didn't he? Yeah, yeah house, well, no. uh, and, and he was probably kind of the the old puppet school rich girl. Which uh, McLaren well, I mean, did, the, the, you know, and the, and the, uh, uh, the great mural of Portobello Road of Joe Strummer. Mm. Somebody wrote across it recently. Public school one. Oh, oh, that's right. Yeah, you <laughs> see, it's been it, taken up. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, I know. But you see, McLaren didn't have that because he was no, just he he, he he didn't. I, I, I mean, mm. in in fact, I mean, I did really get on with Martin McLaren. I really got on with it because, in a way, it was different. You see, both with Fred Vermorrow and Frank and and and. and Mark and McLaren, um, the one the public school no, elite, the that the situationist ideas here came through a public school elite, mm. you know, and, and, and the social apartheid. Mm. Mm-hmm. Uh, and you see, I didn't feel a sense of the social apartheid with um, um, uh, McLaren and, 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 and Fred Vermorrell. I mean, in actual fact, I didn't feel it with Don. Neither, because he was just a... He was a northerner. He was a nor- northerner <laughs> and a, a, a kind of a revist in the public school well, system. Well, well, yeah, he was. I mean, he was, uh, he was definitely the kind of fag, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah in, a, in a kind of way, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, I mean... But, uh, uh, but, but, and then it was because under- King Mob... You see, none of that elite can talk about King Mob because it, it, it embraced the social apartheid. And then there came this kind of massive conflict within it mm-hmm. over a... They're part of them. Yeah, I mean, I mean, the thing, uh, uh, yeah, but the whole concept uh, of social apartheid appears in Thompson, doesn't it? It's Thompson. They're making you think this work doesn't it? I mean, yeah. it is a great concept. He said that basically why it came about was when the working the industrial working class appeared in this country, there was no contamination by petty bourgeois ideology like there was in France. Yeah, and mm. so totally cut off, so uh, different mm. uh, that they just turned their back. 
upon their so-called superior. Yes. Uh, yeah, and, and they will become uh, very, very self-reliant. Uh, yeah, self-reliant, and just turn the back and cut off. Yeah. And Don was very aware yeah, of he was, that. he was, absolutely. Uh, because he felt that um, with those in King Mo, they could, from below, could do just that. Mm. They could just turn the back yeah. and say, no, there's the... Um, uh, there's the bowling wall between us. Yeah, 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 yeah. And of course, that is what happened. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, uh, but he was aware of it because he 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 um, he, he he didn't really, you know, belong to that public school scene like that. Mm -hmm. You know, and then they'd say things like, "Oh, they've got chips on the shoulders." The worst thing you could ever say. Yeah, it is the worst thing. You could ever say. <laughs> the yeah. worst. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, of course, you got a fucking chip on your shoulder. Mm. Mm. See that they were doing something. That's that's what it was. Yeah, um, the, I was pleased that they were kind of, you know, you'd pick up the magazine. Yeah, what a relief! What a relief! With all the dead duck leftism and Trotskyism, Maoist, communist, oh, traditional anarchism, you thought, oh, yeah, not bad, not bad. It was like that. Yeah. Mm. The thing is that, 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 that you were having contact all the time, uh, you know, with punkies on, uh, you yeah, know, on the building, uh, building site. site, and yeah. they were very open, you know. Yeah. Uh, uh, they weren't like kind of trade union building workers, which would be, could be, mm. uh, could be uh, very ad oh terrible admonishing, you know. Mm. Uh, 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 that recent class war thing, they're not calling trade. Uh, uh, if you remember the trade union, are you a trade union? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's who it was trade union. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, so yeah uh, uh, and, and Stan, after that, uh, Stanley uh, and one, which I yeah. And then the, I, I mean, I know I worked with Abdo when that thing happened in, um, uh, you know, on um, the television and things. Well, Abdo loved it and and, and so on. He, he was just a roofer and, and things like that. And, and so it was this overlap. And so it was kind of uh, the end of music. It was a bit kind of uh, absolute. And I know when we did it, some of the thousands of uh, July's, I mean, she did uh, turn it down about all the punks that got uh, involved in, in the Great Rebellion of the summer of 81 and, thing, and things like that. They, they've broken through the, the representation and become real again, which, of course, is, you know, the, the, the kind of recuperation can, can break into yeah, the real can. thing. Yeah. Of course it can. Yeah. That's the whole thing. And that's what's good about yeah. it. It's a leaky system. This land is your land, and this land is my land, from the California to the New York Island, from the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream waters. This land was made it for you. Allowed, in, in a funny it, sort of way. And I mean, it's it, like exercise. I, I, I don't think we could have done the sort of uh, ecological transformations if we hadn't been used to handling tools. Yeah. You know, uh, 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 and then you just get stuck uh, in. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you just put your back into it. Uh, you just it. put your back into it and you can't say, oh, I feel a bit ill. Because mm. you'll just say, oh, stop. Just cut it out, you know, type of thing, and and then and, and away you go. <laughs> and, like well, you, you're like I do it again, say to me, you weak, you <laughs> weak. <laughs> <laughs> I'll nearly die. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you go away, you weak bastard. <laughs> you know, uh, 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 yeah, it's just a kind of, yeah, uh, 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 to, uh, to and fro. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, but, but, but you knew that, 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 that they couldn't have done that. But no. you were, you were, I mean, you were trained in the bloody miners' schools. Yeah, and, yeah. In metal work and woodwork mm, and, mm. And, and, it were, and tough and heavy. Mm. You know, so, and it kind of, it would, it, 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 and then you realise, look, it's good for you in, in terms of, of the increasing passivity and the couch potato <laughs> syndrome and all like this and, you know, the passivity, passivity. You've got to break it. Every day, every day, every day, it's a kind of work. And you get older, 
but it just does your loads of you can you just you can start rocketing yeah yeah if you're with a good um, bunch of um rockets rockets uh, rockets <laughs> 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 Uh, to, to you in a recent phone call if somebody had tried to recuperate me in the uh, 1973 or something like that you know sort of offering me a job in the university I could very well have taken it you know mm. but you're dealing with England you know they, they were not going to have you no you know? they weren't going to have you were forced uh, out well not only that I mean things like trying to get a job was uh, very possible I, I remember Stuart um, he'd right. gone down to live in the West Midlands and um, and uh, oh yeah, uh, and, a job in the uh, yeah. And, uh, and he went into uh, what was it, the Valley Hill? Yeah, yeah, uh, the was. Great Steelworks. Yeah, and, uh, and, and, the, and they wanted uh, um, 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 people to come along. He's cleaning out the furnaces, you know, all, all the uh, all lying off the furnaces and things like that. And he went and applied. He said he's willing to do night shifts, the whole the whole lot. Things like that, and they said, "Fine, fine, fine. You look a strong, tough lad. Uh, that would be fine." And then they said, "Hang on, um, you were in the LSC, weren't you? You've got a record in Newcastle." <coughs> and they said, "We can't have people like you." Yeah. You know, because it was the working class who began to cut up on tidy, and, uh, and 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 he was, he was he had no money. He was desperate. He, he, he just wanted the job, and, and, and the blacklist was, was just totally intense, you know, that, um, you know, that you thought, well, I've got no, I've got no damn choice, you see, on the buildings, and then with the, with the gangs, because there weren't, you know, when you had to put your name forward, and things like that, you could make uh, things up, and, and and then some of the guys that we knew from the north of England, the, uh, the names of the, the uh, put forward, uh, you know, the term um, on gangs in Lancaster, um, Howard, who mentioned a lot about, and uh, Lawson, and all that lot, and they put down the names of um, blues artists, uh, blues artists mm. uh, and, until they got found out. Because one of them, out of his head on bloody speed, put down Alan Wolf. <laughs> now finished them off. <laughs> <laughs> but we we put down yeah, Charlie Parker, Lester Young. Yeah. Um, um, I forget. I forget. Well, uh, uh, yeah. But you see, the thing is that the building scene was very like the uh, very much like the docks, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, um, th that it was it was wide open, you know. You could you could actually move into it, couldn't you? Yeah. And you survived generally as gangs, not as individual. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And a lot of the gang structure now has gone. Completely. Yeah. Well, uh, that was the worst thing. That's what killed the villains because, I mean, it was amazing in the seventies. It was gangs upon gangs. Mm. Oh, and, not uh, to each other. Uh, no, yeah, and, and and you just join together and you meet this other gang, mm. and then the, and it was this funny thing, and then our our, our gang. You know, I, I remember we'd get called the union, you know. The union the, men, yeah. The union men, because yeah. you were always kicking up against the conditions and mouthing off and getting on. And the, the, the call you, here come the union men and things like that. But, but then it, it became so regimented now. And the gangs were so dangerous, you know, in terms of kind of... Um, uh, of trouble, creating trouble. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, and and the one going to take shit. The one going to take shit, and, and and that it was the most important thing of all was to break the gangs and the half broken. The, yeah. The half broken. <laughs> Well, well, Joe MacDonald, yeah, go on. <laughs> oh, well, look, I, I, I mean, the thing is, um, I can look at it with interest, and that's it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, um, I think that the capitalist mode of production is in such crisis that um, 
there's not a lot you can do yeah, with it. Yeah, yeah. And I think uh, uh, the manoeuvrability um, uh, of it is is rapidly disappearing. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and I think there's a sentimental attachment to 1945. And I like the way how a guy from uh, the Wolf Reports, um, who I knew in America, David Seamus, he calls himself um, as artesian, he calls it these parties based upon reimagined profit uh, that you can no longer get. Um, and, and, and that the idea of a social democratic capitalism now is, is, is over and out. And this idea of a people's QE, um, it's, it's, it's a kind of, uh, it's an impossibility. I mean, they said with QE, we wouldn't um, get in inflation, but the kind of a QE that's been practiced relates to the kind of um, uh, uh, assets like bonds, stocks and shares, property prices, art and culture, which belongs to the rich in any way, uh, in any case, to kind of get on, on, on people's, uh, the people kind of QE type, type stuff. Um, I just, I think in a way, you see, and I don't like the way that uh, 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 Donald and Corbyn, that don't want direct action, that don't want to talk about insurrection and things like that. Yeah, but they don't, they don't talk about the realities of mass unemployment. No, they don't. They don't realise that, that, that with the advent of automation, Mission, you know, know, that's right. the impossibility it, it, of, uh, uh, of valorising, I mean, that <laughs> crucial... Ch- uh, chapter in Marx's Grundrisse, you know, I mean, they, they, they ju- they're just dismissing it. Mm. And I thought, for one, John MacDonald would have been aware of that, you yeah. know. Yeah. I mean, it seems not or is keeping very quiet about it. Yeah, because it, he, he was in contact with um, one of the ultra-leftists of, uh, of, uh, related to the valuers, a guy called Dave Black, who you may know about, because he's one of the best, <laughs> kind of, he's an academic, but I mean, he's one of the best academics gain, unquestionably. And his books are always very, very interesting. And he had an influence on MacDonald. Because I, I started reading some of these kind of uh, things from MacDonald. This is about 1909, uh, uh, 2009, and, and things. I thought they'd come from uh, the Revolt Against Plenty website. And, of course, it introduced him to it. But it's the slipperiness of politicians. You see, all that, it, it kind of updated him, updated him. And then he kind of just... Um, slips back into this kind of parliamentary uh, mode and, and unfortunately I feel that there could be a lot of passive demonstrations that um, uh, by, by the Labour Party and things like that but the, 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 the sweet FA no no but I mean the danger is that again, it can kind of conscript youth into conformity it, yes you know. uh, that is the danger and th- which is a pleasure that's why when you get you know class war um, um, and so the, the the younger generation that have taken over uh, class war, because obviously <laughs> the older ones like uh, Ian Bourne and Martin Wright, you know, feeling their rage and things like that. But the message has been pa- passed on. So I, I enjoyed what happened in, in Shoreditch. It's right. You know, that um, it's kind of uh, eating places. It's 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 the it's it's the smoke and mirrors of gentrification, and 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 you've got to attack all that. You do, and so it it it, it was it was good that they did that. But I imagine Corbyn. Oh, you could see all the Guardian journalists and 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 so on. Oh, this terrible stuff. Even suggesting it was kind of right wing and fascistic because of the pigs and oh. Yeah. Because I mean, we we find this thing with the very young, in the nineteen twenties, twenty one, twenty two, and things like that, and like uh, all of Tush's um, uh, grandchildren and things like that, get on with them like a house on fire, and they want to know about, about what um, y- uh, you know happened uh, with you and things like that, and it just seems to be this connect over the generations. <laughs> The, the very conditions, you know, that, that Miguel Amoros called us uh, of the late 60s, the generation that were lost, lost to capital, 
Well, there's a generation coming along now in, in the uh, teens and early 20s, lost capital. And that's why this funny connection is, 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 is being made. And that's what worries me, that they're going to get uh, caught up in all the kind of uh, ins and outs of doing this, doing that, doing it the right way, doing it the wrong way that the Labour Party demands. It's showing the fact that they voted for Corbyn, that there is this radical spirit there, but it's kind of in a naive first stages. Mm. And it's got to break through that and, 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 and really go for, again for the great critique of the totality yeah. and to understand that the capitalist mode of production is reaching uh, the end of well, its, uh, of it's, its hitting, life, what, what it's Marx had forecast. Yeah, it's hitting the, the buffers. Uh, it's hitting the buffers, yeah. yeah. Can you get the essential revalorization, yeah. which is why you're getting all the Minsky bounces, the Minsky moments of smoke and mirrors, which was near, which was neoliberalism, and now it's in complete collapse and crisis. Mm, mm -hmm. And you can't express this through Parliament. Yeah. yeah.